Hi Water Signs, welcome to your reading. This is for the week of May 9th through the 15th. So go to the timestamps in the description box below if you would like to fast forward to your particular sign. Um, and we're just gonna get into it. All right. Hi Cancer signs, welcome to your reading. So we are just gonna look into the beginning, the middle, as well as the end of the week. And then we're gonna get like an overall message, just either advice or something that you need to know for this week or at this time that you're listening. So the beginning of the week, we have the Eight of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups. So to me, that's a very stable energy that you're starting the week with in the material world. Also, you do seem to be moving on from a particular phase in your life at the beginning of this week. So some of you have been working kind of nonstop or very consistently. And the Eight of Cups to me is signaling that it's like time for a break or you're ready to get away from your work or from the constant flow of, yeah, work, of putting in energy um, to your day-to-day -day life. So that's just what I'm getting there. Others of you, it could also be signaling that you're investing energy into your work or into your day to, into your day to day life in order to move on from um, some difficult past experiences or from some something that came to an end. It's like you're invested in your day-to-day -day life right now and it's helping you move on so let's just clarify what this eight of pentacles is about the ace of swords to me that says you know what this eight of pentacles is about um that yeah pretty much that you've been keeping consistent with your energy of um pretty much doing things every day, going through time, you know? Others of you who've been like wondering what to do, this is saying that you've been finding clarity recently. Or that you are in the process of finding clarity. Something that you've been working on a lot and as a love message or as any message, something that you've been um, trying to find clarity on how to get past it or how to move on from something or how to, um, yeah, manifest something here other than an ending, but rather a beginning. You're finding clarity in that regard. Clarifying the Eight of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> so that is very cool. See, we've got an Eight of Pentacles, number eight, with the Ace of Swords. And then we have the Eight of Cups with the Ace of Cups. So we pulled two eights in a row, and then we pulled two cups in a row to clarify it. So yeah, this is a personal thing that you're doing here. So I don't think you're, um, you're like invested in your work and it's, you're doing it for you, you know? And whatever you've had to move on from or, um, emotionally distance yourself from, or for others of you, if you're not seeing it through that perspective as much, but more so through the perspective of not that you're trying to leave something, but rather that you're trying to find 
um, something out there, you know, you're doing it for you. And I just feel like saying that. So that's what I've got at the beginning of the week for you, Cancer Signs. The middle of the week, we have the Two of Wands and the Sun card. Um, yeah, I feel like whatever decisions you've made recently and in the past, like I'm getting recently as in the beginning of the week, you may have made some sort of important decisions that both your mind and heart agree with pretty much. Others of you can be more in the past, like the previous weeks or a month ago or a few months ago. Um, you're just looking back and seeing, and then we've got the moon on the back of the deck and seeing that you made a positive decision here. Some of you might be wondering that a little bit as you're transitioning, just depending on how things unfold in your life. Um, Cause I'm getting like, maybe you've made a decision, but some anxiety sets in still, or you've got some fears or uncertainty about the future. So it's like making a decision in the present moment based off of what you've been through in the past. Uh, and it turns out to be very positive, but you're still going to have to like go through the journey is what I'm getting. So let's clarify the two of wands. I've got the eight of wands. Yeah. I feel like it's that you're very much so deciding to do something. You're looking back at the start of the week and just what you what you learned up till that point through all of your hard work um, to find clarity, to find answers, to find yourself, to find love or work for those of you who are trying to find like a stable home or a stable working situation. Um, Whatever it is for you, Cancer Science, it's like you're looking back at those experiences in the middle of the week and I feel like you're using that knowledge uh, or experience to do something here. So let's clarify the Sun card. It's a very positive card. We've got the Three of Swords. Yeah, it's very positive. It has something to do with your healing for many of you. This can very well be a love situation of what you're deciding to do. The Eight of Wands is a card of communication. The Three of Swords is a card of um, heartbreak, the past, like a past connection, um, betrayal, like a stab in the heart. And it's like knowing what you wanna do to release that energy in a very positive way. So I'm excited. What's at the end of the week for you, Cancer Science? We've got the Lover's card and the King of Cups card. So feeling free, free to love, free to love yourself or whoever. We've got the Eight of Cups on the back of the deck. Clarifying the Lover's card, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, free to choose when it comes to love and when it comes to your journey. Something, this can also be trauma, this Three of Swords is healing, like conditioning that has occurred that thoughts that pop up into your mind are like, oh, I need to worry about taxes or, oh, I'm supposed to go to university and do this or like a traditional lifestyle or Whatever's been instilled into you, it doesn't even have to do, uh, it doesn't have to be about career. It could be you're expected to get married to someone or uh, you're expected to like take care of like so-and-so because family, family matters. Like, you know, it's like, these are all just examples, but generally like thoughts that come into your mind that are like, not ultimately what your heart wants um, and figuring out how to free yourself from that and to unlearn a lot of that. 
So yeah, the lovers and the seven of cups. Tells me that like love is on the horizon, but you're probably still confused by the end of the week, but the sun card, but it's a very positive thing. Yeah, I feel like no matter how much healing work you do and moving on from like certain situations that you do, it's like your heart still tells you to open up and to keep moving forward um, and to still go for whatever it is you want or whoever it is you want. So yeah, I'm getting overall like don't be confused by others. Um... For example, like if you're ready for something, but others aren't, or if others are ready or someone is ready um, to offer like something stable with you, but you're not ready, you know, like that might be confusing, but just like um, no matter what is or isn't ready, just know that you're getting through it and that Ultimately, you're just meant to follow your heart, pretty much. So the King of Cups, which is basically doing that. Let's clarify it. We got the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, um, so there is a message of just like, whoever you've been dealing with, keep at it and like, um, try to keep level-headed and to really make wise, mature decisions from a place of emotional... Uh, depth and not um, even from a place of confusion actually is kind of fine too is what I'm getting but yeah basically like making decisions from the heart space no matter how confused or clear you are it's all good is what I'm feeling guided to say to you cancer signs so let's get your overall message we've got Ostara and Cordelia so Ostara says fertility it is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Yeah, I don't remember if I said this, but I was seeing these cards as like, you've been working on something for a while. Oh yeah, I, I think I did. And then it's like, it's time for you to like, take a break or like, move on, perhaps to like the next step or to new things. If some of you are just kind of like moving on from a, a field of work. Um, a lot of you though, it's like, just like going to the next step is what I'm seeing. Then we've got Cordelia, go outside. You have been indoors too long, go outside and get some fresh air. So that might resonate for some of you. Um, others of you might hear that and you're just like, Ugh. you know, you're like, I'm not gonna get up or like, I don't know, like maybe, maybe not. Um, but I feel like a lot of you generally even in that kind of group of people, you might all kind of be like, but true though, <laughs> like outdoors has been really healing perhaps for some of you um, or a lot of you. But to me, this is saying like, open up, like it's, you've been in this specific, oh, I'm just noticing another eight here. But yeah, you've been in this specific place on your life on your journey now for quite a while. It's time for something new. It's time to put yourself out there to open up. Open up about what you've been going through in the middle of the week. That might be what you're communicating. Genuinely communicating what you've been going through. Um, possibly having a positive com uh, communication or conversation with someone where you have a heart to heart um, and they actually hear you out. Others of you, that's like you're communicating to the universe or you're being honest with yourself and facing certain truths that have been um, deeply lodged into your heart space for a long time and you're finally paying more attention to them, addressing them, figuring it out and finding a positive way to really move those swords out of your heart and back to where they belong, which is just like to send it out into the universe. Yeah, and some of you that might involve needing to communicate with someone. So 
So we're just gonna finish this with one last card because wow, <laughs> that was cool. Mawu, Mother Earth, yeah, going out into nature. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. So to me, this is saying like you are meant to do something at this time um, that's important for the healing of this planet or for um, yourself or your loved ones. It's like you physically being somewhere is providing a lot of help to either yourself and others or others, whatever. Um, like ultimately everything is to help you, I think. But yeah, this could be for some of you like helping others. Um, this is just beautiful. Mother Mary expects a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So yeah, I'm just getting like get out there, like step outside, like enjoy, try new things. Be open to experiences this week. And I feel like so many of you, you're like, honestly, I am. I am open to new experiences. Um, and Cancer Signs, you know, this is like the shell, the back of the shell and like the soft underbelly. So it's like, yeah, maybe you're always going to have some defensiveness or like uh, that feeling of like, I don't know if I can just have courage and like do stuff, bold things or whatever. But I don't know. I'm just getting this week. You very well might surprise yourself. <laughs> um, where it just feels so natural to really come out of your shell this week. For some reason, that's what I'm getting. So that was a long reading. Um, and then, yeah, I saw the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups now, and the King of Cups. So it's like something very positive could very well be going on in your love life. But yeah that's what i have for you i hope that resonates and yeah just take what resonates leave the rest and i'll talk to you all later take care all right scorpio oh wait yeah let me change the timestamp. 1724 okay so let's do it we are going to be looking into the beginning middle and end of the week and then we're going to pull maybe a few final messages as advice to you uh, or what you need to know at this moment in time. So the beginning of the week, you got the Ace of Pentacles. A new opportunity is here for you, the Five of Wands, but there's conflict there. You're having conflict with others or within your own self when it comes to this new beginning. Like, for example, if you have this new project idea, try bringing it up to your team or your your boss and they're like no that won't work like they don't even give it a try you know uh type of a thing and then it's like conflict others of you it's more like you want a new beginning but the conflict is coming from you in the sense of like you're split between many paths where you're like i don't know i know i want a new beginning but what sort of new beginning do i want I'm just getting you really want a fresh start, Scorpio. And that's what's happening in the material world. But yeah, things are taking some time to shift into place here. So try and have patience about that. Um, I don't think there's a clear... I think you just have to be in that energy and let the cycles um, work itself out. But let's clarify the Five of Wands. We've got the King of Swords. This could have to do with, yeah, making a decision, but it could also have to do with communication. And we're also going to cl uh, clarify the Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you want a new beginning. And I think there's a saying most of you know what it is. Most of you know what kind of new beginning you want. So it's mostly that you're having conflict when it comes to explaining that, uh, communicating it. Uh, or to acting on it. So there's conflict there about making it happen, but you know what exactly you want to make happen. Now with the Ace of Swords, you might not have it all figured out. No one ever has it all figured out, right? But you, you may have um, 
you know the path you want to go towards or you want the, the new beginning that uh like it's like you don't need to know everything exactly you just feel like you have enough of an idea to get started on something uh but yet there's conflict there having a tough time going for it or communicating it for some reason um even though it's been happening so some of you it might be more like you work through this and um some of you are trying to communicate but it's like you get met with conflict like I said like reaching out to a boss and like asking about um, an extension for work or um to go ahead and try this project that you've got for the the company I'm just making examples up here um but again you're met with conflict so that's just the overall energy I'm getting for you in the beginning of the week this can of course be a love situation you could be dealing with an air sign like the king of swords you could have air in your own chart or a fire sign um Yeah, or they could just be a very like logical, but also fierce and passionate uh, or stubborn energy. Yeah, the middle of the week, we've got the nine of cups. Yeah, I feel like whatever the conflict is, generally though, like everything is happening at the right time. It's not stopping you from your journey and from this new beginning. Um, you're actually kind of just getting more of what you actually want here. It's just that you have to work through this conflicting energy to figure that out within your own energy space, as well as other people figuring their stuff out so that everyone can kind of heal. I'm getting everyone wants to work together, but there's, there's just like conflicting ideas and beliefs, but that generally, um, just like, you don't have to like disprove others beliefs. But just stand strong in your own and get clear on what you believe and like don't let energy around you resist your belief or like fight your belief or like have conflict. Like, so I'm getting like as some just guidance to like view things from like a peacemaking approach for a lot of you. Yeah. Others of you, it's like that there's like really important conflict that you just need to be really clear about with your communication. So just take it how it resonates for your situation. We're getting the nine of cups and the five of swords for the middle of the week here. And the end of the week is the ace of wands and the seven of cups. And the chariot wow that's good so i'm going to clarify the nine of cups why is this nine of cups here eight of wands i feel like yeah you're getting what you want you're going for what you want no matter what the conflict is so yeah just depending on your circumstance about what that five of wands represents to you whatever that there's been at the beginning of the week and just lately about this fresh start that like there's just been conflict or like things not perfectly lining up. I'm getting, you're gonna push through that and it could very well be during this week that certain things finally you push through and um, things start lining up when it comes to this new beginning. The Five of Swords and it very well may have to do with just kind of not only standing your ground and your energy but like just not having to explain yourself or your actions to other people or to explain yourself in general to other people. Clarified with the Page of Swords, yeah. It's like working on yourself, um, feeling better about having your thoughts. Sometimes, you know, when we have our thoughts, like we wanna share them and that's really important. Um, but it's also important to feel good about the times when you kind of just have your own thoughts and you don't have exactly everyone to share it with or you don't know who to share it with so for those of you who feel more 
kind of independent or on your own at this time, uh, maybe feeling like you might not have someone to talk to for some reason about this new beginning or about your situation. And this is just saying that like you um, deserve to feel good about yourself and maybe like through journaling or writing or like therapy, for example, like having someone to talk to is good. Having an outlet that's healthy is good as well. A way where you don't get too invested in the conflict that you're feeling um, and to thinking about it all the time, but instead finding a way to not have to think about it because you're like, okay, well, there's conflict there and I don't want to be a part of conflict. So I'm choosing to use my power to simply step away. You might even communicate that a little bit, but mostly you're just going to do it and it's going to be a very peaceful energy. And honestly, that's the Ace of Wands. That brings you more ideas. Like it puts you in a space where you're able to focus on your new beginning. So some of you, it's like you had this idea for a new beginning, but you've been so caught up dealing with other people. The end of the week, I'm getting eventually you shift into this space where you're making sure to take some time to yourself. And now that you're there, then there's a, some confusion about how to move forward with it because it almost feels like a pipe dream just because you're only at the beginning stage of this. But you're going to be fine. Things are moving forward. You're just going to have to go on the journey. The Fool. Yeah, definitely. The Fool is a card of a new beginning. So there's definitely that vibe there. I really feel like you want something completely fresh, something new and exciting, Scorpio. So that's what I have for you this week. And I feel like at the end, you've basically got it. But there is a confusion there with the Seven of Cups, um, which is just, to me, just symbolizing that it's, as much as you've got that, it's still like some beginning stages and it's going to be like a rocky journey of ups and downs. All journeys pretty much are. But yeah, so overall, what do you need to hear right now? Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers are being heard and are being answered. Yeah, this is letting you know to really believe in this new beginning here. This is simply a possibility of something that you deep down or secretly have always wished for with the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Wands. You've always wanted this certain manifestation and you've always wanted to communicate about it to, to like not have to hide something that you love. That's something that's coming through for some reason. And... Era Cura blossoming. You are just getting started. Yeah. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. It's literally what the words on this card says. So if you can see how those vibes are kind of exactly what I'm getting at um, throughout the reading. Um, so yeah, this is very much about going for what you want and whatever conflict, whether it's dealing with other people or if that um, roots or stems from within you where you've got some conflict within yourself, whether it's because you have many different directions you want to take. I feel like it's that. Like you want to live multiple lifetimes at the same time, but you can only choose, you're only in this one life at this time, you know? So you have to pick one path, you know? I feel like you have a number of different paths you could take. It might boil down to like two major paths that's that, have many branches, you know, the five of wands, right? So I'm just seeing like, choose the best path for you that lets you move forward in a really balanced way that reflects accurately what your heart desires. Yep. So of course this can be related to love, but I'm just getting it's like everything for you, Scorpio. There's so many different energies that I can kind of pick up on. So that's what I've got for you. I hope that resonates. Take what does, leave what doesn't. And I will see you all later. Take care. All right. Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your reading. So we're just going to be looking into the beginning of the week, the middle of the week. 
as well as the end of the week. And then we'll just look at some advice or just guidance or what you need to know this week or at this time that you're um, listening. Sorry, I see a notification. Okay. So the beginning of the week, we've got the Nine of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. This is saying that like you are tired, but you're not giving up when it comes to something about your work or your day-to-day -day life, uh, about making sure you're doing something productive, keeping busy in some sort of way, that you're building up instead of breaking down. And that's exhausting. I feel like I have to sneeze. Okay. Sorry. Ooh. So let's clarify that. Okay. Yeah, let's sit with that energy. Let's talk about that, Pisces. So some of you might be really tired and you want to break, but you feel like you have to keep going. Others of you, um, it's like, you keep trying at something, but it keeps not fully coming together and it's tiring. So let's clarify that. The magician, it has to do with what you want. So that's why you're determined here, why you haven't given up. It's because it's something you truly want to manifest and you're putting in real physical effort. You're making real, um, you're making a statement, you know, to the universe and to whoever and to yeah, at all the right places. You're living authentically to your what you're wanting to manifest, you know? It's like if you want to manifest more love in your life, you yourself are living a loving life. If you want to manifest more like um, health in your life, you are actively working towards living your healthiest possible life, you know, like trying to figure out like, exercise, food, water, like what feels good, what doesn't, what helps your body let go of tension uh, and like energy that's blocked and, and like what doesn't help with that and so forth, you know? It's like whatever you want on your journey, Pisces, you're actively working on it and you're living authentically in that energy. So try not to get gaslit into thinking that it's not manifesting, it is. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. And yeah, I really was picking up that like, you're just kind of keeping busy trying to build and work on stuff um, because it feels like it's all you can do. Like you think you're stuck, that you're trapped and it's like maybe your way of freeing yourself at this time or trying to. And some of you, this has to do with love, the Two of Cups. Um, very much so manifesting that, but feeling like you're stuck because uh, love is a two-way street. Uh, it's It needs to be reciprocated. So if you feel like, you know, either you're closed up or I'm getting that someone else is closed up and you are making efforts, but you're trapped and stuck because it's like feeling like you're the only one making efforts. Uh, the Page of Wands, it's like, it's like you're opening up. You're opening up to something here. Let me clarify. Yeah, what are you opening up to? The star. To your healing. Yeah. To learning how to free yourself somehow. So you, it's like, yeah, I'm getting to this Eight of Pentacles is very healthy for you, Pisces. So we often feel stuck and trapped in our own minds. Um, and things like that. But things are working out for you. Um, the efforts you're doing are working. So, yeah. Keep that heart space open. Yeah, try to remain hopeful. So, the middle of the week, we've got the Five of Swords. Yeah, and the Justice card. So, yeah. This is to me saying like, if things have not been going your way, if communication has been a one way street, um, if you've been really getting in your head about something, 
this is signaling that things are working out, that this is maybe being resolved. The Two of Swords is on the back of the deck now. The Justice card to me symbolizes bringing balance and justice, fairness, that the, the right thing is happening. So trust that. Let's clarify. Five of Swords, we get the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, that can have to do with your living circumstances with someone you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is about something that's just like a way that life has been for you constantly for a while now. And it's not been the most exciting. But something is like the universe is paying it forward. Someone could be... Uh, doing the right thing here and something like that it's just like clarity is being brought to you truth and justice so let's clarify it yeah the high priestess i think it is definitely being brought to you and you are very much receptive to it if you can see that these cards uh they mirror one another the justice card symbolizes someone who's acting on um right righteousness or like doing the right thing the high priestess is someone who intuitively knows the right thing, but they are being patient and receptive. So someone might be putting energy and reciprocating back to you after you've now sort of pulled back some of your energy or have kept working at something in general. So that's just what I'm getting there. There's someone who's putting in action of making things right. And then there's you, the high priestess, um intuitively knowing that that is on the horizon for you so that could be happening in the middle of the week for some of you pisces out there um this doesn't have to be about a person it could be that the universe is finally bringing opportunities forward or that you trust that the universe is going to so let's see the end of the week we've got the six of pentacles which is the card of balance in the material world so i do think balance is being restored to you in your physical space and that things are going to be feeling a lot better for you perhaps this week there could be something changing here and the hanged man and this is also gonna be the vibe until it happens so some of you could be this weekend others of you um you just again it's like bits of it but it's still not the whole picture Hanged man is you. I'm going to pull one last card for the end of the week there. It's like you're so close. Uh, let's just clarify. The page of cups and the ace of swords. Yeah, and the eight of cups here. So, yeah, this can be balance being restored when it comes to love. Um, or just feeling more love and happiness in your life at this time. That is going on for you, Pisces, at the end of the week. And there's something about becoming more sure and content about wherever you're at in life. So if everything's not exactly perfect or if everything's not completely together, you're just feeling like almost a sense of contentment, peace with that. Yeah, let's just clarify again. The Four of Swords is a very peaceful energy. Yeah, peace is brought to your mind about a situation that had been on pause for a while. Um, and now you're given something to actually think on or get to make a decision about. That's what I have for you at the end of the week there, Pisces. So then we've got Be Bold, Frasia. Unleash your adventurous side, take risks, and be daring. So let's just get some advice for you. I just wanted to read that in case that was a message for anyone. So your advice or what you need to know right now for this week. And just what you need to know right now. Siege or Siege. Quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest. Meditate and contemplate. So yeah, this is just saying like rest when you need to rest. Like Your job is to rest as much as you can, to take care of yourself 
and to bring peace into your life at this time. You can do it. Tune in. This is a special week. Cordelia, go outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. So, yeah, definitely get your body moving and feeling good and release tension. Um, don't let tension build up right now. It's important to... Um, to make sure you're healing, taking nice breaths. Meditation could be really good. Just really try to uh, be at peace with your situation. It's okay if you're feeling really emotional at times to feel it, but like just overall in general, like just keep taking that time so that um, that you're careful because I'm just getting like others are very sensitive as well this world likes to make Pisces think that we're the only sensitive ones no everyone is sensitive um it's the ones who are more tuned into it Pisces who actually are the ones in tune <laughs> and paying attention um able to listen to your body and your needs um and your soul's desire and stuff like that so yeah, this is like, definitely take that time to tune in and pay attention to what your sensitivities are telling you. Mine is telling me like, yeah, I need to work on like my back. Um, and let's just get one final message. What do you need to hear? Lakshmi, bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. So this is trying to let you know, like, you're right about something about your future. So, um, Unag, easy does it. There's no need to hurry. There's no need to force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Yeah, this is just like a week where I feel like, yeah, you've been really working at stuff. And I do think with Two of Pentacles um, and about taking peaceful decisions and with Go Outside, making sure you're still active. You're still doing a lot this week. But generally about certain situations that really frustrate you that there's nothing you can do about. It's just trying to ease, find ease about that and to like keep going and to, don't let the painful stuff in the world or anything get you down on like doing what you want to do this week. So um, some of you, you may truly want to be doing like something else that you can't do like coming together with someone but also maybe with the six of pentacles but the hanged man it's like in the bright future it's like if this is someone that you've dealt with for a long time that you know pretty much will be back eventually but you just either don't know when or that uh whatever it's like trust it trust that you know that that's a message for myself really but yeah, others of you is whatever that is to you about your future. Like if you know what you want on your in your future, trust that. You don't need logic. I mean, there will be some peaceful thoughts and a healthy mindset, a positive mindset, and that makes sense. But like, I just mean like that might be all you need. You you might not need to prove it to anyone or wait for the future for it to happen. To have proof that you knew the future that you were hoping for would happen. It's like you can just sort of believe in it. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I love you all so much. And yeah, I hope this resonates. Again, take what does and leave what doesn't. I will talk to you all later. Have a good week. Take care.